Hello friend, I'm back uh, for Michael Piano Room and our song for, the, for, uh, for right now is Silent Night, okay? So um, this is one of the Christmas songs, okay? And for those of you who can learn this before Christmas and you can play, that will be great, okay? So let's get to it right away. And you can see this song is a little long, okay? Um, I tried to put it on one page um, and hopefully uh, that would be uh, be clear enough for you to see on the screen. Uh, if not, uh, somebody have to let me know in the comment section and I'll think of a different way to do this. Or maybe I can just print it sideways like this. It's probably better. Yeah. Okay. So um, it would probably help with the screen. I think that's probably best. Okay. All right. Anyway, let me bring this down back uh, back down here. And then we can start uh, start right away. Okay, people. So I can see you have, wow, that's uh, 5, 5, 5, 5, that's 20, 24. 24 measure for this song. So it's quite long. You can see, um, obviously, four lines, right? And each of the music line, you have two, small, two lines for left and right hand. So as always, the bottom hand is for your left hand. The top line, I mean the bottom line is for your left hand and the top line for your right hand. Uh, it's represented here. A uh, bass clef for your left hand, treble, treble clef for your right hand. Okay, and you have um, a time signature of three, three four. That means three quarter. What it's saying is that you have three quarter note in each of the measure. As you can see here, this black note represents as a quarter note. So one, two, three. Okay. So each quarter note is a beat, and uh, a beat in this case about a second or so. So as you can see here, one, two, three, one, two, three. So uh, you can see that's what the time signature means. Now in here, in this song, you notice that there's a quarter note with a dot. They call it dotted quarter note. And what it is, the dot is the half value of that note. So if a quarter note is one beat, about one second, then the dot value of the dot dot is a half of it, so half a second. So together they for, they have one and a half second. And you can see this note right here um, with a little flag. That's called one eight note. So one eight note is a half of a quarter note. Okay, and a half that means half a second only. So that's why you saw a, a red line right here. You have to play uh, perfectly in the middle here you have to time it perfectly in the middle and then you play both hand again okay so this is the dotted half note so that's three beat in it of itself and let me see anything else that out of the ordinary that I have to point out for you seem like nope okay so everything is uh, so exploratory now so let's start your left hand start on C um, okay C major, so on C here. So let's play your left hand. Now, before we start, I want to mention that you need to learn to play your left hand softer than your right hand. Because on the left side of the piano, it's already naturally louder, okay? Because it's the longer wavelength of the sound because it's bass, right? So your right hand is shorter wavelength, but higher frequency. So that means it dies quicker. It dies sooner. So, for example, if I play this C right here, yeah, play this C right here, you can see die already, right? But you play this C here, it's louder and it's a little longer. Okay. So, because of that, please play your left hand a little softer. So, I'm gonna play for you right now. So your left hand is quite repetitive. You move to G, move back to C. Now go to F. Back to C.
So it's fairly easy, okay, because every note is a quarter note for left hand. So it just keep it even, okay, even. So keep it even throughout, and the last note is a half the, a dotted half note, so that's three beats. So you have to hold it for three beats until it's done, and then let go. All right. Now for your right hand. Right hand slightly trickier here. So finger three, you're going to be on E, thumb on E, and third finger on G. So you see that? This one eight note create a rhythm. If, there's, if this note is a quarter note as well, it will sound like this. Then it will sound boring, isn't it? So now with this, it have a rhythm. Okay, now I would advise as you practice the right hand, uh, when you start feeling more comfortable, you need to start practicing a little louder. Okay, so because the right hand carries the melody, so it needs to be more prominent so you, people can hear the song. Okay, all right, so let's put both hands together and I'm going to play uh, without pedal and I'm going to make sure my left hand softer, my right hand louder. Okay, so make sure you listen to that. Left hand softer, right hand louder. Okay, and there's no pedal here. And the next one I'm going to teach you, I'm going to play with pedal. And now for those of you who want to learn how to use your pedal of, on the piano, at the foot, at the bottom of your foot there, on the bottom, you need to watch another video. I will put uh, the link into the description of this video for you to, to, to get there, okay? All right, so let's do it. So that's without pedal. And do you hear my left hand soft and my right hand a little bit more prominent? Okay. Now do that the same thing with the pedal. Okay. with pedal. All right. Thank you for watching and learning from my video and hopefully that helped. Hopefully what you can see uh, on, on the music on screen. Um, and also as you can see I draw some of the red line it's to help you when to play your note left or right hand and then uh, when you need to play them together. And also I have the name of the note on the paper not every single note. Um, only when it changed or um, I haven't written yet, then I would rewrite it. 
and also the uh, ha uh, black ink uh, handwritten number that's for your finger so of course one is your thumbs number two is your index third finger is your middle and then ring finger is four and pinky is five so if you don't understand any of this that means you need to go watch my other video the music note video as well as the finger exercise video okay all right um, that's it from for me for now and good luck to you best wishes in your uh, journey and God bless see you next time bye bye